Oh, look, the hermit crab's on the move. Holy crap, he came alive quick. Oh my gosh, he's hanging upside down. He is crazy. Oh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today we are going on a ton of reef tank missions. We're just trying to dial things in a bit, you know? Really, really notch them up, you know? Just boop. And then this tank, just look at it. So much potential to be so dope and filled with awesome corals, yet it's filled with algae instead. We have to take care of it. Jellyfish tank is getting some buildup on the bottom that I definitely want to take care of. So we're gonna get a little hermit for that. Say hi, Curly. My Sino is almost completely gone, which is super, super, super sick. This is almost a week after a water change. We got a little bit going on back there, but that is like something else compared to if you guys have been here for a while, seeing how bad it was getting. This is almost a week since my last water change. Everything is doing way, way better. I did not use chemicals to get rid of the Sino. I'm pretty sure we're good, we're on the outsy outsy, but I just want it to be a little bit better before I make a video on like what I did. Not to say that it's gonna work for you guys, like it might not, but I will go over what happened and what worked for me. We got a lot to tackle today, so I think we should just get started. Taking this on the road, Real quick, stop one is gonna be picking up the new coral that I just won for free. Not only did I win it for free, but this is another expensive high-end coral. So, uh, I mean, I guess luck was just on my side, again. You already know I'm wearing the Leda merch, shoplada.com. Blue skies in Fort Lauderdale today. In here is a fire, oh, wait, why isn't it here? One second, here. That's the one. This is the, uh, uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is actually. Just wait till it's in the tank. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Is that the milkman? The waterman? Waterman. Gotta park in the shade so this little guy doesn't fry. Beverly's can really use a little pressure cleaning on the top there. There is a lot of noise going on in here right now and I'm not really sure why. But we're gonna get some hermits and snails. Probably sold all their fish already. Yeah, look, all the tanks are empty. I always come when they like clear out. I think that's a little dragonette. That was uh, one of the options that I was gonna put in the Pico tank, but ultimately I decided against it. Dang, that thing is cool. I'm tempted to put a turbo in the Nano until it clears up on the uh, algae, but then I would have to scrab it and swap it over to the 65. Cause I think, I mean, this little guy is actually, ah, uh, I don't know. Try it out, see if it cleans up the mess we got going on in there. Ooh, Astros are 59 cents. I wasn't planning to get Astros, but you guys know I can't pass up a good deal. So we're definitely gonna have to get some of those now. And I need a blue-legged hermit crab. Trochus, large though, we don't want large. What the heck else did I come here for? I forgot. Oh, I was gonna get a, there's nothing in there. So that's not gonna work. Freaking emerald crab didn't do nothing for me. Okay. One of the Mexican turbo snails, a, a smaller one. And the last is these. All the Astro snails are flipped over. Gotta find some good ones in there. We are stocked up on snails and hermits. Look at all those goodies, minus the GSP. I don't, I don't need no GSP. I don't need that part. But all those goodies are mine. What in the world are those things? Those are alive? Um, yeah, those are horn ones. Um, they're like treats for reptiles. Dang, they're so cool looking. You can't keep them as a pet. <laughs> um, yeah, they just they turn into really big moths. Oh, do they? Like fang. This is one heavy ass bag of snails. I have never seen worms that cool in my entire life. I'm definitely gonna look them up, but they said they grow up and have humongous fangs and scary moths. I'm not for that. But the cute little teal things, I'm all for that. All that made me work up an appetite. You know, there's only one spot we can go when we're hungry. What other meal would there be than some nice ice cold coffee? All right, in all seriousness though, it is time to start getting this stuff acclimating and into the tank because it, nah, this specific guy has been sitting in my car for like an hour, but you know, it'll be fine. Check out how fire the tank is looking, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at this, this is almost a week and we barely have any Sino. The Astrias are going in here. 
Boop. Ten more. Turbo's going in the other tank. These surus snails, some of them are going here, some of them are going in the other tank. I'm going to just temp them in here for a little bit while I get everything else. Oh, oh no. We're going to put this guy to temp for a bit too. Oh, he kind of just dropped in there. For this tank, things are a little bit more complicated because it's a lot smaller of a water volume. So I'm going to put them in little containers. Look, that Astro is working on the, uh, on the rocks, but he's just not working fast enough. Mr. Starfish is still chilling. I just don't want to add more coral to this tank until the algae is more under control. So he can go float. These hermits are going to, oh shit, two different places. Is there even a hermit in here? Yeah, I think I see a leg back in there. This black one is actually going in the jellyfish tank. So we will float that guy in there. And this other one is going to the nano tank. These are for the nano tank. I was only gonna put two, but since I think one of them is dead, I'll just put all three of them, I guess. Look at this little towel drape that I did here. It actually works quite nice. It's super full. I'm probably still going to need to take stuff out. See? Oof! Uh, man, do I like to push it. Oh, look at him spinning in a little circle. This guy is probably gonna have to come out of here once he uh, handles all this stuff. Hopefully he doesn't knock things over. After this video, I want you guys to go to shoplata.com and pick up all of your new favorite merch. Huge shout out to everybody who's ordered so far. I appreciate you guys. We already got some stuff almost sold out, which is freaking sick. TGIFF stickers, shirts, hats. We got it all. Use code TGIFF for 10% off your order at checkout. I think it's time to show you guys the coral that I won. Not as high end as the Grandmaster Cracks, but it's still pretty pricey. This is Frankie's acid trip. And I'm just looking at it right now, there's actually a baby polyp on it. These, I was looking online, they're like 100 bucks a polyp, I think, around there. Like you could probably get two polyps for a little bit cheaper, but that's kind of what I was seeing, which is a solid win. So I came to the conclusion that all of the high-end corals in my tank are all just corals that I've won in giveaways for cheap, like the price that I paid for my other corals, which is super sick, and I'm super stoked about it. So these are going to go on the rack next to the Grandmaster Crack. Check it out. It's got two full polyps on there. Probably going to have another baby popping out pretty soon just because it is loving that little corner. I am going to do a quick little dip on this guy. Not that I think I have to, but just just for a little extra precaution. I do a three minute timer because by the time you switch it all over and do all that stuff, it's uh, been longer than three minutes. And you never want to push it too far. Two clean waters on deck, goes from here to here and then finally into that one. Shake off the rest of it. Drop it in the first bin. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Drop it in the second bin the main polyp, and then you can kind of see the little baby polyp starting. I don't know which way it's gonna be, so I'm gonna have to turn this around. Time to drop these babies in. These are always not the funnest because they flip over. I'm over it. Let's just do this the easy way. They're so excited. It's a little baby friggin' guy right there. I want them to get onto the glass. Don't blow away, buddy. Oh my gosh, she's moving. There we go. One blue hermit in the jellyfish tank. I'm actually really curious to see if he helps clean up the bottom. And now we made it to the last stop of the snail tour. Mr. Turbo, we're putting right on the rocks. Look at him. Let go, buddy. Oof, he's a strong one. Got him. Where's a good spot for him to start? Oofa. Uh, right. Oh my god, look at him. He freaking went on there instantly. Oh, this is gonna solve all our problems, but look how freaking big he is. He's definitely gonna have to come out of this tank. He is all over that rock. He doesn't know what to do with all this algae. Let's just drop him right there. Now we are talking. I wonder how quickly this is gonna be sucked up. I mean, this is not that much rock work for a Mexican turbo snail, I feel like. Now, if this takes care of the algae, I'll only have to figure out what the heck to do about the bubble algae because my emerald crab stays right there under that dead SPS and that is literally all he does. Oh, look, the hermit crab's on the move. Holy crap, he came alive quick. He's hanging upside down like Spider-Man. We got this snail alive too. Oh my gosh, he's hanging upside down. He is crazy. oh. I hope that's a blue-legged hermit crab. I didn't even look. Snuffleupagus is uh, scared for his life right now. He better not try to eat my Duncan. If he does, he is going to have some serious problems. Oh, I got to keep an eye on this guy. Oh, and he's down. Maybe he's just a baby. I don't know. Whoa. 
I don't know. He's moving too fast. He's creeping me out. I don't know if these two will fight. Guess we'll find out in a couple seconds right here. Yeah, bro, I've been chilling under this tree for a while now. Like, I don't know. I think she wanted me to eat this bubble algae, but this shit's disgusting. Like, maybe you'll take care of it. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like it either, but we'll see. Maybe. Nice talking to you. Catch you later. He climbed up the grate of the freaking thing. What's he gonna do? Wow. This is, this is something else. The Zoa is almost completely open right now. Not totally, but I want to get a top-down view so we can see just what's up with it. And look at this freaking snail. He's already flipped over and can't get back over. This is why I don't like getting these snails. They just die off so quick. That's about as good as the shot's gonna get. He's still opening up, but all the speckles on there are super dope. I guess that little pinkish skirt like fully colored up. It looks really nice. These are really dope Zoas, and I'm super excited to have one of them for the free. I don't really know much about those Zoas at all, so I'm not sure if they're slow growers or fast growers. I will keep you guys posted, as always, on everything, how the algae goes, how the hermits go in the jellyfish tank, and of course, how quickly that Zoa grows. Make sure you guys go to shoplata.com. I will drop a link down in the description to get your Lata merch, rock it, Tag me. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. We got new videos every single week. You are gonna wanna be here for it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.